Good morning. Welcome you all to the fifth class of relations and functions. In the last four sessions, we discussed the theory and problem parts of the section relations in detail. Hope you all were learned it well. Today, we are going to discuss a very important fact relating to relations, graphs of relations. That is, the study of reflexive and symmetric relations through their graph. How can we identify whether a relation is reflexive or symmetric by simply observing its graph? That is, we are going to discuss. For that, we want to know three things. First one is, a relation on the set of all real numbers R. A relation on the set of all real numbers R is a subset of R cross R. All of you know it. What is R cross R actually? What is the geometry of R cross R? R cross R is the set of all points in the plane. R cross R is the set of all points in the plane. Relation is a subset of R cross R. It means that a subset of set of all points in the plane. What is the meaning? A, every relation on R is the set of some points or all points in the plane. That is the meaning. It means that every relation on R is a graph. It, it, contain, it, it consists of some points or all points in the plane. Clear? We divide our discussion into two parts. First part is reflexivity and symmetry of straight line. We discuss it using our favorite software GeoGebra. See, R cross R, any relation on R is a subset of R cross R, that is set of all points in the plane. First, I am going to discuss the reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity of the relation y equal to x or a equal to b. For that, I am going to draw the, the graph of the relation y equal to x. You know that the relation y equal to x is the identity relation and the identity relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. It is an equals relation. We are going to prove it, this fact using the graph. Okay. For that, let me take a point on the line. 0, 0, A, A, 0, 0. What is the coordinate? 0, 0. 0 is related to itself. Okay. When we take any point on this line, we get it is of the form A, A. Or any point A, A can be uh, find in this line by moving this point along this line. Okay. See, I am going to move this point like this. Okay. At each and every point, its coordinate is of the form a a. Its coordinate is of the form a a. We can move anywhere. We can see the coordinates of the point a is a a always. It means that for every a a, for every point a in R, a a lies on this line. It means that the graph is what the line is reflexive. The line is reflexive. Clear. The line is reflexive. Y equal x. The line y equal x is reflexive. Now, next point. Is there any other is is is, is this uh, relation symmetric? Of course, because whenever a b belongs to r, b a also belongs to r. Therefore, symmetric. And trivially, the relation is transitive. Therefore, the line, the relation showing y equal x is reflexive, symmetric and transitive and hence it is an equivalence relation. Hence it is an equivalence relation. Now we are going to search any other relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive on this line. One thing is sure to be reflexive the line or the solution region must coincide with y equal to x. Therefore, the only one line which is reflexive is y equal to x. Because the only one line that coincides with y equal to x is y equal to x itself. 
okay therefore the only one reflexive line is y equal x and hence the only one equivalence relation is also y equal to x okay now i am going to draw another line that is y equal to minus x y equal to minus x how will be this graph y equal to minus x is like this is this relation reflexive no because it does not coincide with y equal to x therefore it is not reflexive what about the symmetry let us check i am going to take a point b what is the coordinate of b minus 2.15 2.15 to be symmetric 2.15 minus 2.15 must be lie on this line let me take a reflection of this point on this line that is b dash and what is the coordinate of b dash 2.15 minus 2.15 it means that if the coordinate of b is a b then coordinate of b dash is what b a this is not the peculiarity of the point b but it is the peculiarity is the special feature of any point on this line okay whenever the coordinate of b is a b minus 3.5 3.5 what is coordinate of b dash 3.5 minus 3.5 if the coordinate of b is a b then coordinate of b dash is b a it means that for every a b on this line b a also lie on the given line therefore the relation y equal to minus x is symmetric not reflexive because it does not coincide with the line okay this not a, uh, it is symmetric but not reflexive now let us take uh, another point uh, another line that is um, c this line is x plus y equal to 1 x plus y equal to 1 this line is also symmetric because a b belongs to r then b a belongs to r this line is also symmetric clear this line is also symmetric if we move the line parallel to y equal to minus x at each and every point at, at each and every time we get the relation is symmetric neither reflexive nor transitive but it is symmetric clear we can check uh, in short we can say the relation we can say the relation x plus y equals x plus y plus c equals 0 is always a symmetric relation x equal y is a reflexive symmetric and transitive relation x plus y plus c equals 0 is a symmetric relation I think the concept is clear to you. In short, we can say that to be a relation reflexive, it must coincide with the line y equal to x. The only one equivalence relation on the set of all real numbers r is y equal to x in the form of straight line. Okay. To be a relation symmetric, that line must be that figure the, the solution of that uh, relation must be symmetric about the line y equal to x okay as we discussed before s plus y plus c equals 0 is a symmetric relation always actually what is s plus y plus c equals 0 y equal to minus s plus c we can prove this algebraically also like this suppose x y belongs to r what is the meaning s plus y plus c equals 0 we can write x plus y as y plus x also y plus x plus c equal to 0 when y plus x plus c equal to 0 y x belongs to r whenever x y belongs to r y x also belongs to r therefore the relation is symmetric therefore the line y the family of lines x plus y plus c equal to 0 is a symmetric relation clear now we are going to discuss very very interesting uh, fact that is reflexivity and symmetry of the inequality a less than b raised to n or x less than b y raised to n both are same n is a natural number a less than equal to b a less than equal to b square a less than equal to b cube etc okay see the graph we are going to discuss the different variety of a less than equal to b raised to n first we are discussing a less than equal to b or x less than or equal to y what is the meaning of x less than equal to y it comprises two one two things one x is equal to y let us draw the graph x equal to y or y equal to x it is the identity relation what is the meaning of x less and uh, next one next part x less than y x less than y is a, as an is an inequality its solution is a half plane either this part or this part above the line or below the line okay one of the half planes 
Okay, for that, which half plane is the correct solution? Let us take a point. Let us take a point and look at it here and find the coordinates of this point. What is the coordinate of this point? Coordinate of the point is phi 1. Phi 1. Is this obey x less than y? Phi less than 1? It is not correct. Therefore, phi 1 is, a, is not a solution of x less than y. What is the meaning? Phi 1 is not a solution means the half this half plane is not the solution of x less than y. Then what is the solution? The correct solution is uh, this this part x less than y. We know that the relation is reflexive because the solution coincides with the uh, y equal to x. Since uh, it coincides with y equal to x, uh, the relation is reflexive. Is it symmetric? No, because it is not the this, this is a solution region. The solution region is not symmetric about the line y equal x. Therefore, the relation is not symmetric. Okay, but reflexive. Now, let us discuss the uh, reflexivity and symmetry of a less than or equal to b square. See, a less than or equal to b square. It also uh, consists of two part x equal y square and x less than y square. First, what is x equal y square or y square equal x? Y square equal x is a parabola. This is the parabola. Y square equal x is the parabola. This parabola. Okay. It also divides the entire plane into two. One is above the parabola and below the parabola. Which is the solution of x less than or equal to y square. For that, we take a point and uh, look at here. And find its coordinate. What is the coordinate of this point C? Very simple. The coordinate of that point C is 9, 0. Is the point obey x less than y square? Is 9 less than 0 square? No. Therefore, this point Z is not a solution, not a solution of the inequality x less than y square. Therefore, the solution is this region. Okay, let's mark the solution x less than y square. Is this relation, is this relation reflexive? Can you find by observing? Let us draw the line y equal to x. y equal to x. The, whether the line y equal to x coincide with the solution region? No, it uh, coincide in most of the region but here in between 0 and 1 the region the solution region does not coincide with y equal to x therefore the relation is not reflexive okay when we take any point in between 0 and 1 the we can find a, a does not belongs to r at that particular point okay this is r and this r does not coincide with the line y equal to x in some points therefore the relation is not, not reflexive Clearly, the relation is not symmetric because it is not symmetric about the line y equal to x. Okay, and then, now let us discuss uh, the solution of uh, the solution of uh, a less than or equal to b cube. The reflexivity symmetry and transitivity x equal to y cube. What is uh, how will be the graph of x equal to y cube like this? This is x equal to y cube, and the solution of uh, x less than y cube is this. Clear the, the relation is not reflexive because some portion is here. Why it does not coincide with the y equal x and not symmetric because it is uh, 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 the reason is not symmetric. This is not symmetric about the line y equal x. Okay, not symmetric, not re not reflexive. Now let us extend this result uh, to now let us extend this result to to the its general case that is uh, uh, for x less than or equal to for x less than or equal to y raised to n for that first discuss x less than or equal to y when n is y raised to n y, n is 1 x less than or equal to y we already discussed the relation is reflexive not symmetric not transitive then we move forward n equal to 2 suppose n equal to 2 this is uh, n equal to 1 and when n equal to 2 c when n equal to 2 again the relation is not reflexive not symmetric when n equal to 3 the relation is not a reflexive not symmetric n equal 4 not reflexive not symmetric n equal 5 not reflexive not symmetric not uh, n equal to 11 not reflexive not uh, not uh, symmetric when n equal to 100 also the relation is not reflexive not symmetric in general we can say that the relation a less than or equal to y raised to n is neither reflexive nor symmetric by simply observing the graph. I think all of you clear the concept. How can we understand? How can we recognize 
by simply observing a graph the reflexivity and symmetry of the relation if a relation is reflexive the relation the, the solution region must coincide with the line y equal to x if the relation is symmetric the solution region must be symmetric above the line y equal to x clear this section is over next we will discuss the next topic that is function okay thank you for watching have a nice day